So I know that I usually do wear a centre parting, but for today's video, I figured I'd wear a side parting just to annoy the Gen Z who say that us millennials that wear side partings are old. See that? My very uneven side part? You're welcome. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. So I have something fun. I have Starbucks cups. So my friend has this series of videos where she does these incredible, beautiful designs on Starbucks cups. It's one of my favorite series that she does and I always come away watching her videos like, oh, I really wanna draw on a cup. I've only actually painted or drawn on one object that was cylindrical like this before and that was a Hydra flask. That was pretty fun. I did enjoy that, but that was like a year and a half ago, probably longer. And I don't know, I just liked the idea of painting or drawing on a paper cup like this. And because a week from today it is Earth Day, you can't spell Earth without art. Um, obviously paper cups are way better for the environment than they are plastic cups. That being said, they do have reusable cups, which I don't have, but it might be quite fun to try and maybe paint one of those. So if you would like to see it, feel free to let me know in the comments. Hey you, yeah, you, guess what? Jazza just released a brand new Skillshare class. You might be wondering why I'm telling you that. Well, today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. So I figured I would let you know out of courtesy if you would like to take his brand new art class. I have an awesome link in the description Skillshare has provided me with. The first 1000 of you can check out that link and take his class for free. It literally came out a couple of days ago. He basically teaches you how to create your very own characters with expression from start to finish and it is amazing. Basically Skillshare is this amazing platform that has thousands of online classes in things like art, graphic design, YouTube, entrepreneurship, technology, web design and so much more. So whether you're looking for another hobby to improve your skills or get a new job you love, Skillshare has literally everything that you could need. Plus, if you get an annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month. So once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get back with the video. Okay, so here are my Starbucks cups. I've still not fully decided what I want to do on each one, but these, I'm so excited to do this because it seems stupid maybe, but I've never really done anything like this before. So it's just like a nice, fun new medium for me. Now, theming wise, as you know, a lot of you, pro well, you, it's pretty obvious at this point. I love Disney. Most of you know this. And Disney just so happens to have a lot of Starbucks locations throughout the parks. So I thought, hey, what if in a hypothetical situation I was designing some sort of Starbucks cup for the Disney parks? I'm obviously not at all, but hypothetically, in my fantasy dream world, that would be amazing. So maybe I could somehow make these park themed somehow. I was talking with my mum actually about what I could do for theming and stuff and she had an absolutely genius idea. She said, how about you make the little triangles from the Spaceship Earth ride, the little big golf ball at Epcot and put them all over the cup. However, there is a bit of an issue. Trying to draw symmetrical geometric shapes on an object that is not only 3D, edges are like tapered inwards instead of just straight out. Initially I thought, hey, maybe I could just kind of loosely sketch out on the cup. Maybe I could just make something a little bit looser, something like that. So then I thought, okay, maybe I could unravel the edges where the seams are. I could just completely like open the seams out. That would not be a smart idea either because how would I actually make this back into a cup that looks any decent. So my last resort, duct tape. Well, it's actually technically not duct tape at all. It's scotch blue. Where did I get duct tape from? Um, this is the thinnest that I have. Preferably, it would have been quite cool to maybe completely paint the cup black, use some very thin tape for the lines of the actual ball and paint in between. Cause I've seen people do this before on their walls, but walls again, are completely flat, even edged. However, the only issue with this is as I was going around, obviously you're trying to make the lines as even as possible. As soon as you hit that seam, it gets more and more slanted. Then you hit the seam and it doesn't line up. But you actually see a lot of cups with kind of misaligned seams anyway. So I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue. So I'm gonna try out these new markers today. These are paint markers. They're basically like Posca's, but I just bought them on Amazon the other day. These are by Artist Row. Uh, multi-surface quick drying paint markers. So they're small, they're thin, they're gonna hopefully be good for what we want. We're just gonna use a black marker to get in all of these lines here. So little did I know that this would be one of the most painfully slow and tedious things that I've ever had to do just after watching paint dry. Um, despite that though, I really enjoyed every single second of this. I had so much fun. These pens though, they kind of sucked, if I'm being honest. I mean, you know, they weren't exactly that cheap, 
They had nothing on Poskas. They were cheaper than Poskas, to be fair. At first, I was kind of like, this This marker is like almost like I'm painting on a waxy surface. And the green one didn't even work at all, honestly. Probably three of them out of this whole thing just didn't work. So I started off by filling in these little gaps. It would have been easier with washi tape. Yes, apps, it would have been easier with washi tape. But did I have washi tape? I, I did not. So I used wall paint tape instead, which was probably not the best idea in the world. I did use the trick of sticking it to your trousers first to get the lint on it and then making it a bit less sticky because of all the fibres and stuff, but it still ripped the cup in a few places, so that started well. I did try to do this all freehand, but just didn't really, it didn't work. Here's me incredibly worried I was going to rip half the logo off and... We're safe, we're, we're safe for now. If you're interested in the method I used for this, I kind of followed it, but I couldn't follow it exactly because I didn't have thin tape. Basically, their method was you use thin tape to be those solid black lines, but obviously I had thick tape, so instead I just made the shapes of the triangles and modified what they did based on what I have. So I'll link it below if you wanna see it, but basically it's just a matter of taping triangles as evenly as you can. So we have our somewhat straight, somewhat wonky lines here. It was this moment I came to the realization that these lines would not be perfect, but better served as kind of a guideline for me to freehand everything later. Still not ideal, but it worked for what I was doing. Next up, I taped horizontally around the cup. Pretty happy with how straight I did that. Until I realized it was wonky as heck and spent five more minutes doing a slightly less wonky line. I kind of gave up worrying about whether this would look neat or not because I'm just, I'm gonna be drawing over it with gray anyway and needing to make them look better at the end. So once I've done the horizontal lines, I did diagonal lines in the other direction. This, though, this is where it's got, it got tough. I tell you, the problem is because it's a cylinder, but not a cylinder in the sense of like it's a can of beans. It tapers in at the bottom. So unless I was drawing this perfectly on a flat sheet of paper and then it was curved into a cup shape, it's not going to look perfect because it was just kind of impossible to how I was doing it. So gradually the triangles do get a little bit more stretched the more it curves around. But we're just going to put these around the back so you can't see them. But maybe one day I'll attempt to do this with a flattened cup so it absolutely perfectly looks symmetrical. But until I learn how to be a cup maker, I probably won't. So here we have our wonky lines. We're going to start start doing our triangles. Now this method isn't as hard as you would think. It just kind of makes you go cross-eyed trying to figure out where everything goes. The triangles on the Epcot ball are silver, completely the same color, but based on the shape, how 3D it is, and the fact they have three sides, depending on where the light hits, you always have a very, very light whitish part, a light gray part, and then a dark gray part. This is kind of how you give it that 3D vibe. So I had to keep looking at my reference about six billion times. Also, I'm not really a fan of these paint pens. They're good for small parts, but covering larger areas, I just, I had to keep shaking them to make the paint come out because they just kept drying up. The white pen also totally sucked. Is that white? Because if it is, it sucks. But luckily, I did find a white Posca marker later to do the job better later on. Now, honestly, there's not much more for me to say here, except it was basically just two hours of me sat drawing random triangles over a throwaway Starbucks cup, you know? Admiring the cup, painting more of the cup, smacking the marker against the tape to make the paint come out more. More drawing, very tedious, very rewarding. Starbucks, if you want to hire me, you know where I am because this, I did enjoy this. I would, I would love to, I would love to do this. Please contact me.
I am exhausted, but this is what I've done so far. It's, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I'm surprised. It's coming out better than I'd hoped, so that's how it looks so far. half hour or so adding more grey triangles. I did neaten them up a little bit more and then added the black lines between them with little circles for the lights that go between them. And then what do you think? I'm really really loving how it looks. Again not perfect. I'd love to do this properly with like a proper Starbucks design. If it was flat, it would be much easier if I'd started with a flat surface and then it was actually wrapped on. If I personally saw this in the parks, I would definitely want it and try to collect all of them. Which brings me to my next park. MGM Studio. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. It's, I mean, Hollywood Studios. Still bitter. I decided to do two cups for this video. And if anyone really does like this video enough, feel free to give me a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see me do it again. Um, I'll do a part two for the other parks, maybe. Now for this one, the iconic object used to be the Mickey Sorcerer hat, but that got removed a while ago. So really the only two buildings that are incredibly iconic for this particular park are the Chinese theater and the Tower of Terror. And I decided to go with the Tower of Terror since I felt the tallness and the height of the building itself fit better on the cup. Um, the Chinese theater would work better on something horizontal, I feel. So I just sketched it out to start. Plan was to make this more cartoony and oversimplified, but I quickly realized this building has a lot of detail. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of details. If I don't include a good portion of them, it's gonna just look like a rectangular orange brick and very strange. So I was trying to find a good balance between building and brick. I also decided I wanted to make this very colorful and fun, even though it's literally a terrifying dark building and ride. I just wanted to make it more Disney. I ended up using some poskas on this because it was easy enough to get the bigger areas with those bigger poskas. But now, you know, I do enjoy a good building as much as the next building drawing artist. But this building has a lot of angles, a lot of windows, a lot of basically everything, to be honest. And simplifying it took a lot of trying and failing and then failing some more. But I did manage to do it fairly okay in the end. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I added the Hollywood Tower of Terror wording with my white pen, which kind of, again, it kind of sucked, but it did the job. I kept thinking of how much fun this would actually be to design it properly as a digital painting or something and then actually have it printed on the cups. Again, Starbucks, I'm available anytime. I added a few more details here and there, fixed it up a little bit, and this is how it looks. What do you think? Which cup is your favorite? I would really, really love to know. I had such, oh, I can't tell you how much fun I had doing this. I really, really, really enjoyed it. So if you would like to see me do this with the other two parks, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if it gets more than normal, I'll know that people are more interested in seeing that. But yeah, for now, this is how they turned out. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Also, my upload schedule now is Thursday at 3 p.m. EST. If you're wondering why my videos haven't been going up on Wednesdays anymore, that is why. But yes, for now, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.